Donna Maria Pierbridge. At a time when Oporto was undergoing a rapid growth and its physical limits were becoming evident, it became imperative to build new bridges. The need arose from the life of the city itself and of its people. Since the city was the workplace of thousands of residents in its suburbs, it was in a pivotal position, road and rail links. The city therefore obliged the creation of new links connecting the north and south. Following the construction of the rail network in Portugal, it was decided to establish a crossing between Oporto and Vila Nova de Gaia. There was no bridge in existence for this purpose, a fact which led to the construction of the Maria Pia Bridge in order to establish a rail connection between the two cities. At the time, it was the height of technique, audacity and broad design, and still remains one of the most remarkable works of its kind and one of the most important monuments in Portuguese industrial archaeology. It was a hugely important structure for the country's transport and communication network, encouraging greater development of links between the south and the centre of the country with the north, and contributed towards the creation of a nationwide rail transport system, with direct results vis-à-vis -vis the process of economic growth which the country was undergoing. Built by the company Gustave Eiffel et Compagnie de Paris, it was completed in 1877, and its construction involved some original technical solutions. A deck measuring over 354 metres in length over a single arch with a 160 metre span. This was the first time this was done in the history of bridge construction with the exception of suspended cable bridges. Its metal arch was built without using false work, just suspension cables. The Maria Pier Bridge was the first one where the intermediate supports were substituted by a huge metal arch with a 62 metre span and a height of 42 metres at over 62 metres from the water level, at low tide, to the track. In order to reduce the surface area exposed to the wind, calculations of wind effects were made for the first time. The deck passes along the top of the arch on the inside. Intended for road traffic, it was the first gigantic manifestation of the possibilities affected by iron architecture. The Maria Pier Bridge was deactivated after the Don Juan Bridge came into service. The new bridge was inaugurated in June 1991, on St John's Day, St John being the patron saint of the city. 